So summer's came to an end. Escalar has started. I think we're about halfway through, nearing the end of Augusta. But, um, it's pretty hot out. But I'm gonna, as of right now, I'm working on thinning out the fan collection. Or, I mean, not like thinning it out, but actually getting around to cleaning these. Um, I had several fans that I still have to, that are like in pieces right now and need a lot of work still. And this water shield I, I, I got last fall or something. I've been using it pretty much since and I've still yet to clean it. So I'm gonna finally clean it today. It's pretty dirty. I got this at Goodwill during the winter. This was like a few weeks before Christmas or Crema. I only paid $3.50 for it. It's from 2010. These are kind of childhood. I wanted to get one of these. So I think the rest of this video will just be a disassembly of this fan. Nice air conditioned garage. I've actually not ran out of air conditioner in a while, so I'm running it today. So I'm um, also working on fixing that McMillan motor. The outer pieces were all rusted, so they're outside getting repainted. But go get the dry pod. Um, get electronic screwdriver, let's get this thing taken apart and take the motor apart, vacuum everything up, put it back together, and then it should be ready for next year. I know the video is only two minutes in, but I'm probably in, I'll say about 10, 15 minutes. I took the girls off, vacuumed those off. Uh, I vac, I'm not vacuumed. I wiped down the case. The case on this fan isn't in the best of condition. I forgot to remove one of the price stickers, but that's just going to stay on there. It's not hurting anything. Um, this is a fan I do actually use somewhat often, so I don't, yeah. It's not really one of my collection pieces. And the blade had, had a bit of kitchen grease on it. I was using this fan in the kitchen. Now, when I got this fan, it was really clean. If you ever had it, you could definitely tell they took care of it before I owned it. So I wiped everything down. The next thing I'm going to really do is just take this motor out of here, get this motor wiped down um, pretty quick. Just the four screws here. And then going to take this apart and vacuum the inside of the motor out. And that's a bit of a freak show with the vacuum cleaner. And to anyone who works on fans somewhat often, or at least as much as I do, I'd recommend going and purchasing one of these electric screwdrivers. This right here is a cheap version. I don't, I think it's probably been on like Amazon or something, Harbor Freight. Um, but I got this one. Uh, from someone I worked for over the summer who bought it out of garage show and didn't really have a need for it. And it just takes a USB-C or, um, or whatever. The motor should pop out, I think. Put this over. Actually, I might not be able to get the motor out without removing the plastic bracket. So. I'll come back to you once I get the motor out, because I don't think this can be new. It also requires a pretty Now that I got the motor out of here, I'm going to pop this thing open so I can get inside and get the dust out so I don't blow the internal thermal fuse. Um, when, I got, when I first got this fan, the bearings on it were a bit stiff, so I did have the motor apart on this fan already once. Um, that was pretty much just 
drop some oil in there. And I think at the time all I had was WD-40. So I oiled it with WD-40, but the fan still ran very free. So I'm not really going to bother putting uh, oil in there. It's not like a little piece really useful. No, I guess they're not. because it won't stay flat. Well, there's a creep show. I just dropped the thrust washer. I'll be back shortly. Oh, I'm back a bit later. Um, I had a bit of an issue with the motor. I lost some thrust washers, so I had them, had them on the floor. Uh, once again, it's not a video about a freak show. I'm gonna make probably some more videos of like cleaning some of these fans up. I, like I'm a person that always cleans them up in the fall instead of the spring. It's already been in the fall. I'm not gonna really use this fan much more, and I have other fans that I'm using in some place since like midsummer. So I just want to get this one just cleaned up and going. And we can get back to work. I think I was mentioning earlier in a video that these electric screwdrivers were really handy and a good thing to have. I think I got distracted by some sort of issue. The reason why is these, uh, these machines in particular, um, this one has a clutch, so you throw it in. It trips like that. So you can strip out the screw, um, and then another another good thing is you won't. Well, actually, no. It just doesn't strip out your screw in general. Like if you were using an actual screwdriver or some sort of other tool. some sort of freak show I'll join I'll have to end off again so we're back a bit later I got the motor in um, one of the screws just decided to like not go in all the other ones went fine when I wasn't filming uh, putting the back row on right now and we're gonna button up the rest of the fan um, so I don't like the grills on these Lasco fans they're Fairly a bit. Put together or whatever. Uh, try to get the one over here on this side. I want to find one of these older wetter shields with the full size Marco motor in them. Um, there is one version, it was a transition model. 
I think it was made in 2000, um, or 2001, somewhere in those thereabouts, and it was a lot, it wasn't the first sweater shield, because the early versions of the sweater shield, but had like the Venturi guard, um, and not like the little wind ring like these, but the one I, the one I remember seeing, it still had the full-size Marco motor, and like the, the normal like wind ring grill, but it said wetter shield on it. So it was pretty much just the Lasco uh, Premium that had a wetter shield handle on it and a wetter shield grill. I mean like a newer wetter shield grill. So it was, um, I've not seen, but there was, I've not seen any videos of said fan on YouTube, but there was a Chinese restaurant I, I frequented a while back when I used to live out in Illinois and they had one. Man, it was actually in somewhat good condition. I wasn't even drilling hard and that already stripped out. But I do remember that fan pretty well. And it had the Alaska logo with the Wavy K. That, that was the first sweater show I ever remembered seeing. I just found another thrust washer. Uh, there's a bit of play. I don't feel like taking motors back apart. I do have another 3733 that does need thrust washers. So, I'll save those for that fan. So. The leaders, the shaft in this, like, all, all dowled out. run the fan before I took it apart to get it clean. Um, let's get the front grill put back on. I'll do a video of running it after that, and then that will be the end. Well, the fan's put back together. Um, it's probably not going to be messed with for about a year and I, until I clean it again. Um, I'm ha uh, As of right now, I'm going to probably use this fan again next year in the kitchen. I like this fan somewhat, but uh, we'll do low speed. Not really going to be the best wind test. I did turn off the Westinghouse uh, high velocity fan that was behind the camera, but this is the only fan running right now. I mean, I mean, there's uh, there's two ceiling fans running. I've been in school all morning, so I'm I'm very tired. Yeah, I got up at I think about five five something in the morning. It's actually strong enough that it is moving the blades on the Westinghouse, and this is only on medium speed. These aren't bad fans. I, these do move a bit more air than the 3733. They have a bit of a stronger motor, a steeper blade pitch, and they do have this wind ring, which kind of gives some more... Uh, uh, a bit more velocity to the air or whatever. So the air kind of gets sucked in through this part and blows out the other part. One of the Venturi is a bit better. Yeah, I, I just dry cleaned the grill. I didn't run it under water or anything. I have a few more box fans. All of them are Lascos, go figure, that I want to get cleaned up today. I'm just spin down, end the video, upload it to YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. Keep the breeze, and it's Alaska.